What's going on everybody? Core here from Core Gaming and we are finally back in Minecraft. I know it's been a little bit of a slow week, uh, but we are back, hopefully for good. As you can probably tell, a couple of things have changed. There's no uh, there's no me in the corner anymore, but we'll talk about all that. I mean, as you can probably tell, we're in a giant hole right now and we'll get to that too in a bit. But for now, I'd like to do a little montage. Well, not really montage. It's more of like a time lapse. It's a multi-video time lapse just to show you guys what I've been up to over the past week. Okay? So we're going to do that right now. And we're going to listen to this awesome new song I just found. This is by The Last and it is called One. Hope you enjoy checking out what I've been building lately. you enjoyed that so here we are in the new and improved storage room as you can see behind all the chests we have lighting there's also actually uh lighting right under here now i gotta put that back in the right spot so we have lighting everywhere we also have lighting behind the uh behind the stairs back here i think it looks really neat i enjoy how this looks i went with the uh the the, the wood like this i forget what it's called and i'm just knocking stuff off the walls but yes, I like I like this wood. I thought it looked good. Contrasting over here with this stuff, I thought it looked very nice. So that's what we went with. And yeah, so I, I need to I need to put some things away. And I I do plan on like putting up here what is like like a, a, a what's it called uh, the, the, the 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 picture frames. So I remember what's what. Uh, but for the most part, I just go off of memory right now. I don't think I have any sand. I got this egg. I just need to get rid of. Don't spawn a chicken. Don't spawn a chicken. Yay, no chicken. So I really like the way uh, this looks. I just went off the basic design. Um, so this is a, I do have a tutorial on my channel for this, but it's very basic. Uh, so I'll just explain it here for you guys right now. This is a redstone chest and this is a regular chest. Redstone chest, regular chest. And that's how I'm able to put them right next to each other like this. And it looks really neat. I mean, it, look, it just looks so nice and, and secure and, and so many chests. All the chests. We now have all the chests. So, as I'm putting this stuff away, you probably noticed the TNT in my bags. Um, we have been collecting sand constantly for the past, uh, the past while. Little while. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes, I'm sorry. Uh, but yes, collecting sand. Mm, just to, to do, uh, oh, what do I have? Do I have more wood? I do have more wood than I thought. Hmm, beautiful. I do have an ender. An end, is that what, what is it, ender pearl? Is that what they're called? Yeah, ender pearl. We'll keep you. Mm, flint we can get rid of. No, we'll keep you two. You never know when I might need to make another flint and steel. Uh, so I've been, I've been, e what's it called? Uh, expanding the silo uh, beneath us. I've been expanding the silo. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't remember where stuff is. I've been expanding the silo going downwards, um, getting all the way down to bedrock because this staircase, I don't want to look down. Uh, you can see how far down we're going now. The staircase, I do want to go all the way down to bedrock because that's where the mine shaft will eventually be. The new mine shaft, the strip mine shaft, and all that. But as we go down now, I mean, you know, this is here. You know, uh, this is over here. You know, uh, this is over here. And there'll be something down there eventually. 
And also from the montage you saw, we now have our library built. I went with the blue floor. I did. I was actually going to go with like uh, like covering up all the lights, but as it turns out, you uh, you cannot cover up the lights because if you put uh, what's it called carpet here, it'll actually block the book the bookshelves from getting to the to the uh, yeah to the thing. So yes, uh, as you can see, the cows are gone. We'll get to that at the end of the episode. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I don't want to spoil the surprise. Let's just put these back in here. We need all of our iron. We need some diamond, and we hope we have enough levels. So we are going to do something. I'm not quite sure I'm completely ready for, it, but we're going to do it anyway. We are going to be. Ooh, that's close. I think we need three of these one two three maybe four i don't remember is it like this we are making our first anvil oops son of a gun one more and one two three hey there's our first anvil beautiful then we gotta find the right place to put it it could get its own little room like right here i think that'd be kind of cool hmm for now for now sure there we go the anvil room. We could, we actually, you know what? We could do away with all the the wood in this part, and we could have like lava flowing and make it look like a cool looking forge kind of dealio. Uh, but thing is, I do my first diamond pickaxe. I did enchant it. I did only get efficiency four. Silly me. But I want to see how much it would cost to. Wow, that has gone way down. But I I want to keep the efficiency four. Should I only do three? Yeah, I'll only do three because that gets it most of the way. Very nice. Uh, I do have this efficiency one axe. I don't especially care about it, but I do like my unbreaking to efficiency to shovel, even though it's just iron. Again, only three iron to get it fully repaired. Now, we're not a 14 iron. That's all of our iron. Uh, so I literally just killed the skeleton right as I started recording. I might have even added it to the video uh, time lapse thing, um, but he dropped feather falling four pro projectile protection for boots, which was insane. He survived the fall, you know, down down this thing. He survived the fall. As you can hear, that's too, if you just listen closely here. If I back up. You can hear the cows. The cows are still here. They're somewhere else. I don't want to tell you where, though. Um, mm, I forget what I was saying. Son of a gun. Oh, oh yeah, these boots. So, I'm going to grab the leather... And I, 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 I've never done this before, but these are leather boots, but they're feather falling four. I mean, I don't want to get rid of them, so I want to see if we can repair them. I don't even know if it's a thing. Maybe, maybe it's not even a thing. Take them off, put them in. Leather? That is totally a thing. Wow, that is so awesome. So we just use most of our levels. I did recently die, sadly, but that's okay. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. So we've used most of our diamonds. Definitely going to have to go strip mining again soon. Um, but I feel like there's more things to show you. So we, we got the, you know, oh, you know what? Let's go, let's go down here and, uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to do a thing. What the heck, man? Where'd he go? He down there? Yeah, he fell down there. So that was another skeleton with uh, some sort of enchanted bow that lit me on fire. Um, I don't see the bow floating down there. But let's check anyway. Since, you know, I can survive anything. <laughs> uh, how do I get back up? I got a ton. Oh, no, I don't have any blocks. Ugh. So we're going to have to do it this way. At least the diamond, the diamond pickaxe is back to full. And that reaches really far, too. There we go. And then we go up. Okay, so here we are at the bottom of the silo. Um, as you can see, I've, I have been using TNT to do this, and uh, it is it has caused some damage, but it's okay. This is open. You know, it, it's not the end of the world. I'll repair it eventually. Uh, and I'm going all the way. If we go all the way over here, you can see this is to the outer wall where we will have wood coming all the way down, wood pillars all the way down, and they actually, I mean, it, it, it looks so cool. And when it's all going to be, when it's all done, it's going to look amazing. Um, and then the, the stone brick on, on the outside, and it, it'll look great. But I want to go all the way down to bedrock before we do that and get like a bottom platform built up. And I just, I got so sick of mining. So what I'm doing now is I am 
uh, I am using TNT. I go, I, I, I do them by like uh, three by three areas. So three by three. So then I come over here into the middle, another three by three area. So basically just skip two. And I also go down two, down two, put that one right there. And then this one, we put it right there. So we'll blow up this whole area. See what it does. Oh no. Uh oh, gotta run. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes amazing and I also check for iron and coal when I do this so that I uh so I don't waste resources I'm sure it's possible that I waste I hear lava over here yeah it's definitely near here hey look at that lapis lazuli I bet you we find lava near the lapis is that me? That was me, yeah. You hear it? It's like all around us. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Awesome. So we know this is here. We can come back and dig around it. You always find cool stuff around lava, in my opinion. And you know, this could also be attached to a cave or something. It does kind of look open like a... Like it, like it may be part of a cave. But that is for a later date. Let's continue with the demolition. Uh, so I do want to talk to you guys about what's going on with the videos now. So, you know, as you can see on the screen, you know, the the, the face cam is gone. And it's for a good reason. So, if, if, you, if you're one of my subscribers, which, by the way, uh, if you watch my YouTube my YouTube channel before, you know I get off topic pretty pretty simply. And uh, here it comes. Here comes the first off topic thing of the day. Uh, uh, the subscriber count on my channel. We are up to at the time of this recording. We're gonna go one more over actually right there. At the time of this recording we are at uh, 800 iron 899 Subscribers we are one away from 100 at the time of this recording So if, if you're watching this video and we're still at 899 then tell your friends Tell your friends. Okay. Tell your friends. Tell everybody, you know come check out core gaming on YouTube, youtube.com slash core gaming, youtube.com slash core gaming 21. Either of those, both of those work. 21 is what I used originally. And then once I became a little bit more popular, I was able to procure uh, core gaming, you know, youtube.com slash core gaming, even though it's core gaming 21, blah, 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 all that stuff. Now you know the backstory behind that. More iron. Awesome. Always need more iron. Uh, so back to back to the, the, the subject matter. Uh, so yes, the face cam is gone. It is, we'll call it temporary, but it, it's it's probably going to be pretty long term just because, uh, I'll, I'll explain it. Using the face cam adds about, um, probably right around, depending on the length of the video and depending like the kind of video, if it's, yeah, we can just send this all the way down, that's fine. Uh, if it's, if it's Minecraft, you know, a half hour long video, or Heroes of the Storm, or, uh oh Something like that. Um, doing... Son of a gun. Doing... Oh, crap. Eat food, eat food. Doing the face cam, in addition to just the normal uh, video game recording, adds probably like... For, for a Minecraft video, it usually adds about four hours of production time. Um, because there's... So, in, in producing a YouTube video, which is what I do, that's, that's like the technical terminology of what I do. I'm a YouTube video producer. Um, you know, I, I have a studio. And I'm still gonna... I, I promise. I'm still gonna do a video... Uh, touring my studio, which is, you know, it's, it's just a... It's a, it's a bedroom in my house. Um, just without a bed. So, it's not really a bedroom. But yeah. Well, that was kind of cool. <laughs> Not what I had intended, though. Actually, we can move one over now. Ah, uh, uh, so there's there's different there's 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 three different phases, I guess, to making a to making a video to the production of a video. There's the there's the pre-production, the setup for it, basically. There's the the production, which is the recording and basically the stuff that we're doing right now, and then there's the post-production. Sound like somebody survived. There's the post-production, um, which is basically the editing of the video. I'm gonna put you right there, and you right there. Uh, save the torches. No torch left behind. Um, so 
in the setup for the video, I have to set up the green screen. I have to set up, uh, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six different lights that I have to set up in the appropriate locations. Uh, it's getting dark in here. Uh, we'll put one more right here. Why not? Light them up. Light them up. Is that the last one? That was the last one. Yeah, demolition. This one did not go well, though. Let's drop another one right in there. Um, so yeah, it just adds a lot of production time. So, th as, as you've noticed, this week, um, there have not... There have not been a ton of YouTube videos, and it's not—it's not really because I'm more busy than usual. It's just that when I'm when I'm doing the videos, you know, I I I have to need to set aside a certain amount of time, and I can never just set set aside the correct amount of time to to record like a, a full episode with the face cam and with everything, you know, in it. And uh, there there have been the requests for me to use face cam just because it adds a whole other element. You know, it makes it makes the videos more personal if you can actually see the guy behind the video. Um, so I, I wanted to do them and I still want to do them. Uh, now I'll tell, I'll tell you the reasoning behind why it adds so much production time, uh, is because with, with the processor and the computer I currently have, um, uh, I have to record my audio, my video, like the, my gameplay, my audio and my camera video. I have to record all of that in, well, two separate programs, but basically in four separate files so there's there's the audio that i'm talking into my microphone audio there's the game audio that's two files two different files and then there's the um the the video the video camera my webcam my face cam and then there is the game cam so that's that's four different files um so on average the 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 uh, the, the the video like the 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 size of all the files to, to for one YouTube video for one Minecraft video specifically is usually like between depending on the length of it you know depending on how much I record for it probably between five gigabytes and fifteen gigabytes and then I compress it all down to like two gigabytes but again with the computer I have putting all that data into one program into one editing program uh, causes it to crash sometimes causes it to l lose lose data I put up all these torches just so I can take them down I'm gonna do this this phase a little bit slowly um, so that I the reason I'm gonna stop doing the face cam is literally because I want to be able to produce more content for you guys um, quicker and get it out more because I know I can I can get out like I thought that was going to pull me towards it. Several videos a week. You know, I, I've done it in the past where I got out like 10 videos in one week. Um, and by, by taking away the face cam, I'm just, I'm going to be able to do that a lot easier. Uh, this summer, I, like I told you in a previous video, I do have a lot of jobs. Um, doing several different jobs. Ugh. But... Yeah, I mean, that, that's basically the whole thing. I want to be able to produce more content for you guys. In order to do that, I'm just going to have to... I'm not really decreasing the quality of my of the videos, in my opinion. If anything, I'm going to be making them better because the, the, I'm, the I'll be able to increase the quality of my my voice and the quality of the, the video gameplay because I won't have to... I'm, because I'm not going to be recording face cam anymore, which takes up, you know, graphic memory. It takes up the graphic card and, and takes up uh, memory and space on the computer, so... By taking away one element, wow, this was a big iron vein. Holy cow. Um, I will be able to, yeah, uh, I'm saying the same thing 10 different ways, really just one different, one way, just saying it many times. So I just, I just want you guys to be aware of that and just to understand why I'm doing it that way. You know, I still, like I said, when I, when I'm able to, you know, as, as we get more, more patron more patrons over at patreon.com slash core 21, I will be able to afford to, you know, make improvements to my computer. And one of the first improvements, because I have a killer graphics card now, thanks to my amazing girlfriend. Um, I am one of the big, the first improvements I'll make to my computer when, once I can afford to is going to be, uh, getting the, the, the RAM or the, the the processor motherboard and RAM upgraded, which is the which are the biggest and most important parts of the computer, honestly. Except for gamers, and then when it's gamers, then it's you know the graphics card. There goes all the meat, son of a gun. But this is this is pretty much like what I wanted to do for the episode. I just want to show you guys what I'm doing here. Um, I was so what what started it all really was I was I was working up there. 
What's the fastest way? I should have I should have taken those ender pearls. 40 iron. This is awesome. This is this is a really fast way to get iron too, it seems at least. Um so I I'll just use dirt, I guess, or something to pillar back up there. Doop, do, do, do. Yeah, let's go up there, and I will show you how the, what we're doing with the staircase, even though I'm pretty sure you guys understand it for the most part. Okay, so here we are at the, the nether portal, and as you can see, most of this, I mean, if we just look in this direction, it all pretty much looks done. It looks really good. I like the design. I like all the color schemes and whatnot, and then we look over here, and this is where it gets a little crazy. So all these pillars are going to go down. It'll look really cool. We'll have a staircase going this way, just like it's going this way right now, and then it'll come down here, just like it is up there, and then... uh Oh, brain fart. Sorry. Every time we get to a platform, like right about here, there'll be a platform. Uh, it'll, you know, we have the options right here. There's two doorways, you know. We have the option to, you know, build off, build more rooms, build more stuff, more, all the things, you know, all sorts of stuff. I, I have a million ideas for what we can do here. The big thing. And I told you at the end of the last episode, you know, I want to do that underwater, like, like base or whatever you want to call it. Wheat farm is doing great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's pretty much all I really wanted to show you guys today. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna continue working on the silo until it's, until it's purdy. And I may do, uh, I may do like a Minecraft bonus video of me just like doing the explosions in a time lapse, uh, and and uh, building up the outside just so you can see how cool it all looks and, and what it is. I'm, we're almost down to the bottom of our TNT anyway, so I'm gonna have to go collect more sand. Uh, we're still doing fairly decent on. JK, we're almost out of gunpowder, honestly, because I had this full. These first two rows were full. Uh, so, yeah, it's still pretty cool. Now, for the coup de gras of what I've been building lately, uh, as you can see, the chicken farm is, looks a little bit different. It, uh, it's more open now instead of just being that tunnel. Uh, the, the top of the silo still makes sense. And, oh, we do have something new over here. So why don't I grab some wheat? I do need that to show you what I have back here. Uh, that's the wrong way. So, what I did was I moved the cows, and I actually created a, a cow farm. Uh, specific, similar to the, to the chicken farm. Now, the chicken farm is completely automatic. I don't have to do anything. I just have to go and collect meat. In fact, I'll show you that chest quick before we go all the way back up there. I'm gonna replant all this seed. Um, I wanted the room to look cool. Uh, I'm not even sure if I've showed you this room yet, but so I, I wanted the room to look cool So I did the the checkerboard and I also changed the length of the room so that it, it all lines up So the, this is normally I'll do like a 8 by or 4 by 8 area for the for the for the seeds But I think it's actually a 4 by 9 area 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah 9 so this is 9 by 4 so it's an uneven you know You're not gonna pick up a full like a perfect 64 stack of wheat every time you Every time you do this, which is fine, you know, it's just the OCD part of me that enjoyed doing that. And I, I honestly, I like this better anyway. Now, let's stop in the chest over here. I'll show you exactly how much freaking meat I have. Look at all that chicken meat. We are never going to starve. Never, ever going to starve. All that chicken meat. We'll put it all right there. Perfect. Now, let's head on up here. dun 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 Welcome to the cow farm. Now, I'm not going to go into all the redstone behind all this. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to explain how it works, and that's it. Uh, but there will be a link in the description below to the person who created this. Um, I believe it was Tango Tech. I believe the, the guide I've listed in the, in the description of the video is Tango Tech's guide to making this. So, uh, I don't have the levers. I don't even have in what the levers do, but uh, we'll flip the switch, you can see. So, what we have here is the kill mode. We have automatic kill mode. Or, well, no, okay. So both of these are automatic kill mode. We have cooked kill mode and uncooked kill mode. This will suffocate the suffocate the, 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 the cows, and this will cook the cows. And I must have cleaned this out. I haven't done any breeding in a long time. Next one, we have automatic breeding versus non-automatic breeding. I, I said those in reverse. So this is automatic. This is non-automatic. So now it's set to non-automatic, which means when I flip this, it does nothing. Perfect. Exactly what we needed to do. We'll turn it back to automatic. And this last one is for the uh, it's for the cows. So we flip that switch on. The lava is turned off, and the cows start jumping up and down because now they're in water. Uh, the, the the iron bars right up here are to stop them from jumping out. So we just walk over, spam, right click on the cows. Uh, there are not as many in here as I would like. I would like more cows in here. So I will eventually. Uh, 
somehow get more cows in here. It was a pain in the butt. It was a real big pain in the butt to do this. Um, but regardless, as you can see, the cows pop out, go down there, and it's almost done breeding. Is that it? Any more? Double check, double check, any more, any more, any more? No, okay. So then we turn the water off. And as you can see, the cows come up here. They do sometimes jump. Uh, so we, we flipped it off. It is set to automatic kill mode right now. However, there is a right over, right in this back corner here, there is a, a, a hopper clock that is started once I, uh, once, once I flip the switch of the cows jumping up and down so that uh, it's on a perfect timer so that the cow, the baby cows have enough time to travel all the way up the stream over here and down to here. This should be all of them. I think, I don't think there's any more. Um, I don't like that up there. I should fix that. I don't have to fix it. I don't have the stuff to fix it, though. Oh, well. Regardless. Uh, any second now. There it is. The lava turns back on. When the cows grow up, they become cooked cows, and their meat falls in here, along with the leather. Works out perfectly. All right. So, uh, the video is right around the length. That's what it was hoping it would be. So, this is, uh, this is the end of it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And, uh, yeah. If, if you want to support this channel, help me get to 900 subscribers. And a reminder, when we do get to 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a $20 Battle.net uh, gift card giveaway. I think I saw a, uh, a creeper down here. Oh, there's lots of stuff down here. Let's go play with them. Bam! Oh, this was a stupid idea. Bye-bye! Hee-hee. <laughs> it fell down. Uh, so yeah, you, you can head on, you can support this channel by subscribing below the video or on the video. There's a subscribe button in the corner of the screen, or at least there should be. You can also support this channel by commenting on this video. You can, you can, uh, like the video. You can head onto my channel and just, you can make comments right away on my channel. Yeah, lots of ways you can support this channel. And of course, the biggest way, say it with me, you can head on over to patreon.com slash coregaming21 and monetarily support me over there by specifically uh, pledging uh, a dollar amounts to specific games. You can actually specifically pledge, you know, a dollar a dollar per month to my Minecraft videos, a dollar per month to my Heroes of the Storm videos, or a dollar per month to my uh, Hearthstone videos. And there are different dollar amounts and different rewards for doing that, and you can head on over there to check them out. I've made a couple of videos on that stuff too, but lots of different rewards. Uh, once we get enough Minecraft supporters, specifically... At the $10 level, we will start a Minecraft realm, a core gaming Minecraft realm, uh, where $10 supporters uh, are welcome to join. And I will send out invites for that, and we'll, I'll be playing on there. I'll actually start a Let's Play series on that Minecraft realm, and I'll, I'll do, like, basically, I'll have episodes where I just uh, play, with the, play with my patrons. So, it'll be a ton of fun. I would really love to do that. I've been, I, ever since I decided to set that as one of the... Uh, one of the, the, the rewards for the for the Minecraft videos. I've been super excited for it. I just need some Minecraft uh, patrons over there. All right? So that is it. That's all I've got time for for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. That's my end tag. And that is where I leave you today. Thank you again for watching. And I will see you all next time.